Hi guys, how are you? Yes, I'm very well, thank you. I've not said that in a while, have I? So I've got four clay products that I'm gonna put up against each other. Now I've made sure in this video that they're all budget products, so they're products that aren't gonna break the bank. Um, they're less than five pounds each if you're in the UK, they're most actually about three, four pounds. Um, and if you're in the US, then they're less than seven dollars. So I put links to them all so you can check them out. So in these products, what I'm looking for is a good hold, I want a good firm hold, but I want something that I can kind of work with all day, and I want a matte finish really. Um, and before I get going, I should say, if you've not yet subscribed, then press that subscribe button, it's up there, or it's down there, depending where you're watching this, so give it a click. Right, here we go. Okay, got to be, I mean, first up, packaging. I don't really care about the packaging, to be honest, guys, because you don't see the packaging when it's in your hair. To look at, it's quite spongy. Um, which I wouldn't expect from a clay actually. I expect clay to be kind of quite hard, yet it's really soft. It smells, it's quite fragrant. It smells kind of chemically, um, which is kind of not what I want my hair to smell like. I'd say this is more like a cream actually, rather than a, a clay. Okay, into the hands. Really creamy. That is severe. Well, look, I'm totally, I'm like a mime. Brushing forward. It feels quite sticky. It has coated my hair and it feels really sticky. I can only imagine this working if you have got literally one strand of hair. Look, you can see my hair just looks really, really like saturated with product. I mean, that was a waste of money. Right, okay. Washing this out, the sooner I get it out of my hair the better. Right, the one plus actually about that product is it came out very easily. So, uh, that's good. Let's go VO5, okay, VO5 matte clay. And um, protection definition with a matte finish, exactly what a clay should do. Looks a lot better, a lot more clay-like. Fairly hard, really good sign. Not much of a fragrance, which I think's good. Um, so much better already, there we go. Brushing, it's going through my hair really easily. Not, not at all hard to use, that is like, 268 times better than that other one. I actually think this is quite impressive. That's not bad at all. Really good. You can see, slick back. So we've got a matte finish. It's got a good hold. Next up. Okay, stick with me guys, we're halfway there. Uh, what have we got here? Shockwave's messy. 75 mil, so exactly the same size as the other ones. Yeah, this is the cheapest, so £2.85. The most fragrant of them all. This one almost looks a little bit like toffee. It's a lot creamier actually than that eye stylers one, but let's have a look. So, yeah, definitely the creamiest of them all so far. We've got that mime effect again. Okay, going through the hair pretty easily. Yes, this is good. It's getting a little bit sticky, little bit sticky to touch. It's kind of drying in my hair. Again, doesn't actually feel like clay. That isn't bad. That isn't bad at all. It's got loads of body to it. It's got a good bounce to it. I'm surprised, pleasantly surprised. I've got one more product to go, stick with me. Final one is Lynx. Um, Lynx have kind of had a bit of a rebrand um, again. Uh, they went for the black range, which I actually used in one of my videos last year. Um, and I actually quite liked it. It was a natural, natural looking clay. Um, and this one again is the same sort of thing, but they've swapped out the, um, the black for the green. So I don't, I don't know if it's any different, but we're gonna see. Um, in the US, you call it Axe. So they're exactly the same products. This is just links for a UK market. Quite tough, quite spongy. It's kind of got that Lynx fragrance that you get with a lot of their things. It smells very masculine. Feels okay so far. It's going in really very easily. It's quite sticky. I think this is the most expensive one. Yeah, 429. So the upper end of budget. Going in really, really easy. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Probably the most natural looking one, actually. Probably the most sort of malleable into my hair. It was one of the quickest to use, actually. I like that. Decision time. In fourth place, no surprise, got to be. Um, I don't think this is even worth your money, guys. This is not a clay, this is like a sponge putty. And even at that, I wasn't impressed. In third place, and purely because I don't think it's actually a clay, um, is the Shockwave's Messy because it is slightly creamier. I mean, you saw, I actually had a quite good hold. I actually liked it, but this to me isn't a clay. I think if they just change the name on this, that will do really well against other products, but 
to me it's not a clay and it's all about clays in this. Purely because it was the fastest to put into my hair, I think it's given the best finish. And I kind of like the scent. Um, I'm gonna put a number one, Lynx. So number two is gonna be the VO5 Matte Clay. Those are four budget clays put to the test. Quite enjoyed that actually, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it too. Um, again guys, please do subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Just means you're gonna see all my videos as soon as they go live. You get that little notification. And the best thing about it is, it is free. Yes, yes it is. Um, so I'm gonna see you in my next new video, which will be next Sunday. Bye-bye.